What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. For those of you that follow the channel know, Apple yesterday on the 27th of July dropped iOS 16 beta 4. And today they are back on another surprise release date on a Thursday. They are dropping the public beta of iOS 16 beta 2. So this is that public release that you guys have been waiting on. This should be a substantial increase and I'm assuming based on developer beta 4 as well. It should be pretty similar here. We talked about some of the new features that we found yesterday. Let's go ahead and do a deeper dive into some of the other ones right now. I still stand by, I think the biggest change is the one to the messaging, uh, how they're doing unsends and undo. But let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. Again, it's available right now. Hop on it, go download it, thumbs up this video. Let's take a look at these features. Okay, so like we covered on the channel yesterday, one of the biggest changes comes to how undo and editing messages are. So if you missed that video, just a quick snapshot of it is when you actually go into your messages and let me pull up one really quick and you go to want to send a message and you say test and you send it, say you need to edit it. When you long press and edit, you are now limited to only editing this five times. So we sent it one edit, we'll edit it again, test two. And then you're like, crap, shouldn't have been that either. Let's go back, edit again, test three. And what you're gonna also see here, if I can get it to send, is you can actually see this edited icon is now blue. You can click on it and see a list of the prior messages. So let's go ahead and again, edit it again, and say test four. And lastly, we should edit it one more time and do test five and send. And that should be the cap. So when you actually go into edit it, you'll see your history. And then when you long press, there's no longer the option to edit a message. Now, the kicker of all this is it doesn't matter. As long as you catch your mistake, you can actually undo the send within two minutes now. That has been decreased, but when you undo it, it all goes away. So again, not ideal. They have tweaked this. You still have a workaround, but keep in mind, unless you undo the whole send within two minutes, you cannot edit the message within 15 anymore and hope that history doesn't show because it still will. That was one of the biggest changes that we talked about yesterday in this update. Beyond that, now live activities APIs are available. And for those of you that don't know what that is, these are on lock screen, basically almost live widgets that are going to go at the bottom for score updates, for Uber or, or Lyft rides. You're going to be able to see it in live time what the status of those rides are. You do also now have new wallpaper in the home app. So if you go to your home, you can see there's now all these new wallpapers to choose from. So if you want to set those, you can do that as well and it looks a little nicer. I think these are great blurred bokeh pictures. Uh, that makes that home app look a little nicer. Another change now is in mail settings. So if you go into your settings and go to mail, now at the bottom here, when you scroll down, you can actually choose the timing on the undo send delay up to 30 seconds. So it defaults to 10, you can make it so you can undo the send for 30 seconds. Now keep in mind if you put this 30 second delay on it, it will not send that email instantly. You will have to wait 30 seconds. So aside from that, also in settings, you probably just saw that under notifications. It now gives a little better look as what each of these display as look like. The list view, the stack view, or the count view. A little cleaner again as well. You have some changes in the lock screen customizations. If you're editing your uh, lock screens or want to change it, the customize option looks a little different when you're doing so. And one of the bigger changes that a lot of people see is if you go into, uh, let's go to Apple Music and just play a song to make sure it's down so we don't get copyright dinged on the lock screen now as well. You can see it looks a little more bold and when you scrub the song, the bar actually gets a little larger to see. So just a little UI tweaks, nothing that crazy or significant, but uh, it is a change nonetheless. And aside from that, there is new wallpapers in CarPlay as well, and obviously your traditional bug fixes that go along the way. So 
that's it for this one. That's what we found so far. Not an extensive list, but it has been a lot stabler 24 hours later, later in the developer beta 4. So I'm assuming this uh, public beta 2 will be just as good. Thanks for watching, guys. Some thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.